Hey guys, I'm Josh Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams, and my goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate, so then when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in your own home, you will make an informed decision. Today, I wanted to talk about recent Inman article describing just how competitive our Utah real estate market really is. So Salt Lake City, San Francisco, San Diego were the three most competitive metro areas for Redfin agents making offers last month. This indicates that low supply and rock bottom mortgage rates are keeping the housing market highly competitive even during this ongoing pandemic. So the article was published on August 10th. It showed that Salt Lake City in the month of July, 75% of those Redfin agents offers faced competition. And that's up from 67% in June. It shows the bidding war rate remains steady as home buyers contend with competition driven by a decrease in listings year over year by nearly 40% and couple that with record low interest rates. So it's possible we may see this increase um, according to Redfin's chief economist, Daryl Fairweather, he stated that if coronavirus cases continue to rise, more employers will likely make flexible remote work policies standard procedure. Many of you guys are experiencing this now. And that's gonna probably drive further migration out of large expensive cities that may lead to bidding wars um, again, to, to gain traction in suburban areas and small towns, including Salt Lake City, which already leads the nation in immigration. I can already see this in our local market. And with areas in and around Ogden seeing a huge spike in home buyer traffic. Um, we've also seen farther reaches of suburban uh, Utah cities like Saratoga Springs and Eagle Mountain getting hit by a wave of buyers. So while this data is specifically taken from one company, I can tell you that on the Stern team, over 80% of our listings priced under 500,000 are selling with multiple offers. So I think it is reflective of our market as a whole. We've had one property, in fact, that had received 54 offers. That is simply bonkers. As a buyer, be aware that in multiple offer situations, almost every offer is at or above list price. And if you're thinking about selling your home, you need to make sure that you have a strategy in place to take advantage of this market. A professional virtual tour, a grand opening strategy, and a strong pre-to-market strategy will ensure that you're gonna get the most offers, create that auction-like envir environment, and have the fewer hassles. But if you're thinking of buying, join the club. But be sure that you work with a buyer's only specialist who is skilled in negotiating for buyers to win in a seller's market. These strategies will change your trajectory with your home buying and your home selling goals. So make sure you're in the lead, not coming from behind. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Please be sure to contact me directly with specific home buying or selling goals.